So instead, what we're going to do is use the custom export to Excel. And the first thing we'll do is, to make it easier, we're just going to select the table that we want. And we don't even want that bottom, the bottom row with the one, two, three, four. That's extra. Um, the simple, simple BGA format requires the column letters and it requires the column rows. So now that we've selected this, let's um, pick the Excel um, export and then we're going to go to the custom and define it. And when we define it, we're going to get um, this extra work area over here where there's all kinds of settings. Okay. So if we look at, and we also get to see the view of what's going to be exported and we can move this up and down and we can see. So already we can see that same problem that row three has the DQ31, DQ30, DQ29 um, and the NC, which these two need to be merged together. So what I'm going to show you how to do now is fix that. So let's slide this down a little so we can see both. And then we're going to show the rows. And again, we can see that the, the, it added rows artificially because it saw the spaces in those the names in the cells there. And we certainly don't want it to do that. So what we do is we go to the row settings column. And instead of standard, we use the use document horizontal lines. And what that says is, hey, there's already a line in the in the document, and if you can see it, use that as the spreadsheet uh, row markers. So we do this, use document horizontal lines, say OK. And now we'll see magically that these two lines go away. And now we're looking at a spreadsheet that looks like we want. We have rows A, B, C, D through U. We have the columns across the top. Column 9 looks good. And so now let's convert. And we'll call it new part um, A to E, simple BGA. We'll let it convert. Slide this up. And now let's expand the spreadsheet a little bit so we can see the whole thing. And now what we, the one thing we're going to do for the simple BGA is we're going to get rid of this row, this column because we don't need it and it may confuse um, Part Builder because we don't, it might think it's an, an extra set of pin names. It, it wants the column names here, the A through U, but it does not know how to handle them there. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, column O, so we'll just delete that and then we'll save that. And now this spreadsheet is ready to be used with uh, part building.